Let's take this ride to Terminal Four. Assigned to each terminal, so if you plan of coming to Singapore, it depends on which airline you're taking. So take note of that. We are now heading to Terminal Four, and found out that there's no SkyTrain going directly. So we have to take the bus. Singapore's national flower is the orchid. Specifically, the Vandam is Joachim orchid. This kind of orchid has so many varieties, but the variety Agnes was chosen because of the vibrant colors, the hardiness, and resilience. It is reflective of the qualities of the Singaporean spirit. This is just the entrance of Terminal 4, Changi Airport, the best airport in the world. There's the bus coming. Let's see what's inside this Terminal 4. Just like in Terminals 1, 2, and 3, Terminal 4 is also open to the public. In fact, there are a lot of guest officers that can help you navigate and also give you some fun facts about this newest terminal. I asked him about this design on the wall and what the names stand for. And he said these are the names of the people who are responsible for building, creating, and making Terminal 4. In order to 
get refunds for your goods that you purchase, you have to do it 12 hours before departure. Mm. Within 12 hours, I mean within 12 hours, within 12 hours of departure. If you do it too early, it won't let you. Oh, I see. So within 12 hours. Mm -hmm. And only tourists can do that because it stands for Electronic Tourist Refunds Team. Can you press how to start it? English. <laughs> So if you had carry on, you had it after clearing immigration. These are the rules. You're not a citizen or a permanent resident in Singapore. You're not a cabin crew of any air, uh, airlines. You have not exercised employment in Singapore at least 16 years of age and purchase of goods. And you have to depart Singapore 12 hours after approval of your refund. And you will not pass on your goods to other travelers. Mm, you have to agree. 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 Ah, see, I don't know. Uh, then you have to put your then passport. Then you have to put your passport. That way they will know who you are and when you're traveling back mm. or out of Singapore. That's why you can't. So that's why it has, yeah, it has to be 12 hours departure. Okay, so are we going to do that or not anymore? If we purchase, I think you have to have yeah. a, a minimum of 100 Singapore dollars purchase yeah. Yeah. in order to refund the yeah. GST. Yeah, it's only for goods to purchase here. It doesn't apply for to food, food and restaurants. restaurants. I think so. Mm -hmm. I sound good, right? Yeah. yeah. These are public areas where you can relax, watch the petal clouds, have a sip of coffee and just chill. That's one thing about the Singapore Changi Airport. It also serves as a mall for the public. You don't necessarily have to be flying anywhere to get inside and enjoy the amenities. There are shopping centers and there are also dining areas or just a place to relax and have fun.